Good morning. Uh, this is Dr. Mueller. Today we're going to do some testing and talk about independent samples t-tests. That will be our test for this week, our practice. Uh, what I would like to show you this week is what independent samples t-testing does and the basic premise of it is that you are able to look at a categorical variable. We'll be looking at gender and decide if the mean scores of each of the genders, male and female, are alike or different when compared against another variable. So I want to be able to show you how to do that today. Here we are looking at our SPSS test data that you can open off our ASU Learn site. And if you would then go up to Analyze, Compare Means, and Independent Samples T-Test. Click on that. In this box then, I'll move this over here, you'll, know, you'll notice all the variables we've been working with in the past. Take multi-sum. That was actually an involvement scale that measured involvement of runners. You know, it summed it all together. There was a bunch of questions, but it summarized and pulled them all into one variable and moved that over into test variable. Now, the grouping variable, again, we're going to look at two groups. In this case, we're going to look at gender. Uh, in your instance, when you first move gender over into this grouping variable box, you'll probably need to click here, define groups. And you know what groups one and groups two were. Again, we assign numerals to groups. Group one was male and group two was female. So you just put in one and two. That'll separate and allow us to score and look at the two different genders against this involvement variable. Again, the question is, are male and females different? in their involvement scores or are they the same? So we click continue and then OK. Now we kick up our scores here. Here's where it gets a little tricky and I have to tell you how to do this. So the first thing we do is look here under our ends. Remember we usually check our ends to make sure that we pulled in all the data we wanted to look at. And of course what do we learn here? Well I think we might have mentioned this earlier. One is male. Well, how many are there? 239 males. A lot of males in this data set, correct? Number two is females. We only had 35. So already, this test will allow us to, to see between the two genders how the two groups scored against this involvement scale. But the point here I think you notice already is we're way weighted heavily on the male versus the female. I would just make note of that, okay? Then we look down over here, this is called a Levine's test. No reason to really understand that except to know this under Levine's test, you look under significance. Okay, here's where it gets a little complicated, but just stay with me. If the significance test is 0.05 or lower, you use this here, this line across, equal variance is assumed. It means that we believe that the variances, again, the spread of the data for male and females, are rather equal. Well, our significance here is way higher than 0.05. If the significance is higher than 0.05, then we would go ahead and look at equal variances not assumed. It's still okay because we're going to take a look at that test here, okay? So what I would suggest then, because we're, our significance is way above 0.05, we use equal variance is not assumed, okay? In that case, then, we go across the bottom line over here. Now what we do then, what we're looking for then is significance. And we've talked a little bit about this in other tests. Again, we're going across this bottom line. We need a 0.05 or lower to have significance. You can see we're looking at the bottom line. Again, we're way above 0.05. So what that tells us is there's no difference. Again, there's no significance between the two groups. So we really know by this that among males and females is tested against the, the, um, the variable of this uh, scale. There's no difference between male and female. They both had the same basic levels of involvement based on mean score of the groups. Okay. So that is how you run an independent samples t-test. Here's what I want you to do for the assignment. I want you to go up again and we'll go back to the data. Okay. And I want you to run another test. This time I want you to go to analyze once again, compare means and independent samples t-test. Take multi-sum out and take that away. 
And then what I would do is go ahead and use move another variable, unisum. This was a second involvement scale I had in this data set, and it's a sum. So there was two actually two measurements of involvement. So in this case, move unisum over. The gender should be set. Again, you've got the groups defined here, one and two for males and females. Then hit OK and look at the results for uh, this test. Again, genders tested against this this unisum variable means male and female, tested against this measurement of involvement. Against this scale, are they similar or are they significantly different? That's what we're going to be looking for. I'm also going to do an audio post and I'll tell you a little bit more about how to report this result and it's really pretty simple to do. Alright, thank you very much and good luck on this assignment.